to my kitchen again and we are on week three cooking on a budget so i'm tj i'm cody and i'm tristian okay and today we've got a lovely menu for you we are going to be cooking cheesy barbecue chicken nachos and um chocolate frosted brownie so i'm going to hand you over to tristian now he's going to start us all off Okay, so first I'm going to break up the, this chocolate. Okay, so we've got 90 grams of dark chocolate or half a cup of dark chocolate. And it is going to be broken up into 150 grams um, of marge, but you could use butter if you wanted, or it's two thirds of a cup. Once that's all broken up, so we're going to just put that all into the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay. And now we're going to add all the rest of the ingredients. So, first pour this in. So, that is 75 grams of sugar, of both white and brown sugar. We've got flour and... We've got half a tea, uh, we've got a full teaspoon of baking powder. That was a hundred grams of flour. of instant coffee which gives it that fudgy taste and four tablespoons of cocoa powder we've got one teaspoon of vanilla essence Cody's just going to mix around the marge and the chocolate and see if it's melted enough and if not he's just going to put it all back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. It's going to give that a good mix while Trishan's mixing around the dry ingredients. And then we're going to add three eggs. So Trishan. Just going to add the eggs. So the eggs just here. So I'm going to um, crack them into here for us to make sure they're not bad or anything. So. So the eggs, so he's adding one egg at a time. That's the first one. Cody, did that need to go back on again yeah. for a little bit longer? And Cody's just going to turn the oven on to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven. It's 200 if you're not a fan oven. And... So then he's just going to keep adding the other eggs now. One. Cody's going to give his chocolate and marge another good stir and see how well that has all melted. She's going to mix it all around so the chocolate and the marge have mixed together. You just need to put it on short periods of times when you're in the microwave to ensure that you don't burn your chocolate. So and then Trisha's going to add the other egg. Last one. So while Cody's mixing that all around, are you making sure that there's no big lumps? Yeah. So it's quite quite a smooth consistency. And Trisha's giving all of his a good stir, and then Cody's going to um, Pour it all into Tristan's mixture now. Now see it keeps stirring all of the time, making sure that you keep it all going so it doesn't set and everything's getting mixed nicely together. Sit. And then Cody's just going to clear away. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then when Trisha's giving
giving it a really good stir. What are you going to do with it then, Tristan? Oh, I'm going to pour it into this just here. It smells really chocolatey at the moment. So a little bit more of a stir. I'm just going to pour it in now. Just make sure it's all spread out. Uh, yeah, just need that. So it's always helpful when you've got two people, one person can hold the, the um, bowl while the other one scoops all the rest out. Obviously that leaves you less to eat of the mixture that's uncooked, but you can eat lots more once it's all cooked and it will be lovely. It will. And then you just smooth out the mixture a little bit just to make sure you've got no air bubbles in there. And then once that's done, it's ready for the oven. Thanks. So if we open the oven, and put it in on sort of the medium shelf and then we'll put that in for about 20 minutes well done Tristan yeah. okay so now I'm going to do the frosting so first I'm going to put this in the butter in for 30 seconds so that's five tablespoons of marge or butter okay now I've got the flour and then that's 250 grams or of icing sugar. Yeah. Two tablespoons of honey. Quite sticky. That's that, so you can put the spoon in. And then I'm going to pour this in. That's five tablespoons of cocoa powder. And one and a half uh, tablespoon, uh, teaspoons of vanilla extract. There we are. Now I'm just going to pour... Oh wait, no, I need to mix it. Oh yeah, I need to pour the butter in. As it keeps stirring yeah. it all around to ensure that the icing sugar is not flying all over the place because this can be quite a messy job, can't it Tristan? Yep. And then we've got five tablespoons of milk or cream or oaty milk, whichever you want. Um, but just add a little bit at a time because you might find that you won't need all of it. So we're just gonna add just a little, little part of that, mix it around a bit. And then you can use your mixer to try and make it all lovely and gooey and thick. So for, I'm going to put this on like a low setting and then go on to a medium setting. thick isn't it yeah so I'd say that's probably good okay so then we'll put that out of the way and I you can check and see how the brownie's doing now okay 
Okay, so we'll give it just a few minutes more and then we'll add the frosting to the top. Okay, so the brown is done now, so I'm just going to take out the oven. Yep, that's done now. So, I'm going to pour the... Um, this just over it quickly. Spreading it out. Here, I'll help. Scoop it. It's good to have a helping hand, isn't it? Yep. It can be quite a messy job, this one, can't it, boys? Yeah. Could be. Try and get it across all nice and evenly. It is starting to look really scrummy. I am really looking forward to trying this later, aren't you boys? Yeah. Yep. So this has been made with gluten-free flour and dairy-free chocolate and marge and milk. Everything has been gluten-free and dairy-free, but, but it's still the same amounts for everything, whether it's gluten-free, um, or not and is suitable for both vegans and everyone else and it is nobody would know the difference if you make it with um, with vegan items gluten-free items they all taste just as good the darker chocolate is is definitely the better way for the frosting because it has a it has a much richer taste if you use um, milk chocolate often it you loses some of the flavoring so it's always best to do it that way. So that's done now, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. now we're just gonna leave this to cool. Oh. Here are the ingredients, quick, so you can take note. Hi guys, so we're back and we're gonna make some barbecue nachos. So first, We'll give a cup. And while Cody's doing that, Trisha's gonna put the marge, half, half a cup of marge into the microwave for 30 seconds to melt. So Cody is cutting up the tortillas into eight. So they're going to make our nachos. So he's already cut some earlier and now he's just finishing off cutting them all up. And they're going to be really tasty. And you're going to get Trisha to turn the micro the oven on to 180 degrees for a fan oven and 200 for a non-fan oven. Your Thank you. So this is dairy free marge that we are using. And then he's going to add a tablespoonful of barbecue seasoning. So he's going to try not to spill it all around. And he's going to put a bit more on there. He's having a fun time today. That's it. And a little bit more, just a little bit more. Nice whole tablespoon, so you've got some good flavouring on our tortilla chips. So he's gonna add that in and he's gonna mix it all around now. And make sure it's all thoroughly all mixed in together. And then we're going to add um, a load of the tortillas that we've cut into um, pieces and soak it all up and um, mix it all around and once you can see it's perfectly soaked 
and then once you see it's all lovely all soaked in the lovely um, flavorings and then we're going to put them on a tray to bake so you might get a little bit mucky on this but we're going to spread them all out okay. Trisha's going to come over and help you let's see it get them all nicely spread out there we go, they're all lovely and soaked. Just shake them off a bit and put them straight onto a tray. Sit mm -hmm. and try and get on as many as we can. There we go. And then uh, that'll give it some lovely flavouring while it's in the oven. When we put it in the oven, we're going to put it in for eight minutes and allow them to crisp up. So nice and firm, lovely and crispy. Um, and they'll be lovely and tasty. So you might find that you need to do a couple of trays of these. So it only takes eight minutes to um, crisp them all up, so it doesn't take long. And you can actually just eat these as you like. Um, you can always just add some cheese to them later on if you fancy them. So. We'll put these ones in and um, and let them bake while Cody's preparing the next one. That's it, so, and we'll just check the time for eight minutes now. And then we'll just mix up some more. Got lots of flavouring in there. So it's just making sure that each of them are all soaking up that lovely, delicious seasoning. And you'll know when they're done, so it's about eight minutes because you'll see that they are nice, brown, crispy. That's not dark brown, that's golden brown. Um, so ensuring that they're not burnt. So at the moment they're, they're feeling a bit soggy, aren't they, Cody? Yeah. Just put those last few on. There we go, we're nearly done. It's a bit of a messy job, but it's a good job done. So there we go, we'll put them in as well, Tristan. So Cody, what are you gonna be doing while they're, they're baking? We're gonna put some more in. And you're going to start making the chicken, the barbecue sauce. Okay, so we're going to start by getting a teaspoon of olive oil. So one tablespoon of olive oil over the pan so it doesn't spill everywhere. You haven't got olive oil, any oil will do. Then we're going to add the onions. That's one whole chopped onion into small chopped pieces. Then we're going to bring it over here. I'm going to turn it on at a medium heat. And then we're just going to mix it round and brown it off. How's those tortilla chips doing, Cody? I'm just going to go check on them. Tristan, can you stir the onions, please? Yep, they're done. Karen's stirring them. Looks pretty much done. There's your early ones. They're looking nice and brown, so you can add them onto the plate. So you can see some of them are really they're quite firm now, um, but some of them might be a little bit browner than you might have wanted. But they're okay, they're an actually lovely crisp to eat now. 
And as they cool down, they'll harden up a little bit more. You could just eat them as they are, or you could even add a little sprinkling of cheese on top already for a snack in between if you've got a few left over. This is why it's good to have another person with you because someone could be doing another thing while you're doing something else. Okay, well, I'll just put the hot pan out of the way. So this is the barbecue sauce that's going to be going on top of everything. So how's those, how's those onions browning off, Christian? Um, all right at the moment. They not brown off that much, but you can cook them. Oh. That's how you want to carry on. There you go. too much spillage. Then we're going to add this brown sugar. So that's half a cup or 85 grams of brown sugar. Then we're going to add some Worcester sauce and we're going to add two tablespoons. Or if you're doing the teaspoons, you want to do four teaspoons to try and make it up to your tablespoon. That's it. And then we're going to have three tablespoons of vinegar. So that's one. That's two. And the last one, three. Then it's a tablespoon of tomato puree. Oops. Try maybe not to squeeze it until you're ready for it because it just all pops all straight out. So that's a tablespoon, that's it. And then we're gonna mix it around. Give it a good mix. And then we're going to put it back on the hob on a high heat to, until it bubbles up. So we want it to come to boiling point and we need to constantly stir it as it comes to the boiling point. And then once we've got to boiling point and it's all bubbled up, we're then going to turn it down onto a low heat and let it simmer away but just keep checking on it all the time. So. While that's doing, you could cook yourself um, some chicken to add to all of this. So you're going to need um, about 250 grams or two cups of um, cooked chicken or tofu if you don't, um, don't eat um, poultry. 
and then you're going to shred it all up and you're also um, going to need to pre-cook um, some bacon or if you don't eat bacon you can use kidney beans and again make sure they're all diced so everything's all diced up nice and small Here is the chicken and here is the bacon. Thank you. That's it. So if we... So we're going to just let that all cook away, just letting it all bubble up. When it's been cooking for about 20 minutes and you can see that it's got into quite a, a thicker, sticky consistency, we're then going to put it all into the food processor and just make sure that it becomes more of a, um, a liquid and there is no lumps at all from the tomato or the onion left in there. So, we'll leave that to cook for a minute and we'll be back in a moment. Hi guys, so this looks better now and nice and thick. So it's finished. TJ, can you come put this in your blitzer thing please? Yep. I'll go and put that in the blitzer. So I'm gonna go over here and put these tortilla chips. I'm gonna break it off, try a bit. Mm. Tristan, can you come do this please? Yeah. And I'm gonna do that taste nice. Yeah. chicken now we're gonna add the spring onions do you want me to pour this in for you oh uh, yes please we're gonna pour all of the sauce in for you and then we're just gonna stir together so there is all of it has got some lovely barbecue sauces over it so once that's all lovely marinated we're then going to put some of that over the tortilla chips that Tristan has laid out lovely for us So we're just going to spread a bit out. Try and keep the tortilla um, chips as your bottom. So, and Trisha, you might want to put the oven back on for uh, to 180 degrees. Yes. So when we bake this off, it's going to take uh, about uh, about 10 minutes. So, so it's it nice, spread it all around. Let's try and get it as evenly matched across the whole of the top of it. Give it a nice good portion so that everyone gets a lovely amount of food. It, and then we're going to add, spread it about a little bit more, and then we're going to add some tortilla chips on top. Oh no, we're going to add some cheese first. Trisha, if you could get some cheese. Yep. This is 200 grams of cheese. And we're going to add about 200 grams, of, uh, we're just going to add a handful of the cheese over the top of it. 
and then we're going to add the rest of the tortilla chips on top I can smell it now it smells really really yummy I'll help you quick so that's it we're putting them all on top now you never know there might be a few more left for you to eat Cody in between yay so and these are really healthy crisps as well if you choose to eat them as crisps so give it a nice good covering and then we're going to add the rest of the meat that we've got and I'm just going to pinch one as well that's it and we're just going to push the rest of it around perhaps Trish can hold it over near there so you can just spoon it Pull it all out onto it. So there we go. So you can get all the mixture all out so you're using all of it. And then we're just going to spread it all around. It, and then we're going to add the remaining cheese the remaining cheese on top and then we're going to sprinkle some more spring onion one spring onion and a chopped tomato across the top of it as well so it's going to be really delicious That's it, and that last bit. So there are lots of vegan alternative cheeses out there, and this is a dairy-free cheese that we're using, but you could use any cheese. Um, and if you're using cheddars, then you can use um, a mixture of different ones if you wanted to. So you could um, have some stronger cheddars, and you could have some um, red Leicester and things like that. So we're just going to put um, the rest of the onions and then the rest of the tomatoes across the top. It just gives it that extra um, delicious flavour ready to go. And then if we open the oven, Tristram. Yep. And then we're going to put this on the middle shelf that's already placed at the top. And we're going to place it in there for about eight minutes eight to ten minutes until all the cheese is melted and it's really nice and gooey okay so we've left the brownie to cool so now it's ready to chop up so So how many are you going to cut it into, Tristan? Uh, eight. Do we deserve lovely big brownies this week then? Uh, yeah. We've worked hard and we deserve a big piece of the most chocolate, fudgiest brownie. You can actually just feel how, see how delicious that looks right now. There we are. So just to get a slice out now quick. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it on this plate. Oops. There we are. Uh, Craig, can you get me the ice cream, please? So this is um, Dairy 3 ice cream. So I'm just going to get scoop quickly. And there you've got your chocolate brownie with a scoop of ice cream. Yeah, for a lovely dessert. Okay, so now we're going to check on our tortillas and everything. Looks pretty much done. I can't 
So now we're going to take a big spoonful. tell you how lovely I wish that you had smell of vision so you could all smell how wonderful this is so right I'm now really looking forward to tasting this come on round Tristan so I'm really looking forward to trying the cheesy barbecue nacho first what about you Tristan which one are you looking forward I'm to tasting? I'm going to try the brownie Okay, so let's have some then. What about you, Katie? What are you going to try? Uh, this. Yeah. Try a bit of this. <laughs> that is really, really good. Really, really nice as well. Right, so today you have seen our um, cheesy barbecue um, chicken. And you've seen our really scrummy frosted brownie. So we'll just show you the recipe before you go. So you can see the ingredients, so you can follow all along. You can get everything that you need from the shop. Then make this for yourself. I'm telling you now, it's scrummy. Anybody that you have a lovely dinner with, if you've got a date night, if you've got a film night, if you've got a card night, you should try these recipes. They're easy to do. The boys have shown you how to do them. We're enjoying our food. We're going to have all our rest of our dinner now. So we will see you next week where we will do more delicious food. Possibly jerk chicken and pop tarts and some other little fudge things to go along with it. If you fancy something different, let us know on YouTube. Like and share. See you next week. Bye.